start. Does social media enable terrorism by democratizing information and modes of mass market journalism? With great power comes great responsibility. And well, power doesn't necessarily mean physical strength or mental prowess. The ability to influence other minds and people is one of the most greatest strengths anyone can possess. For example, let's take two of the most prolific leaders of our time, M.K. Gandhi, a world icon who influenced millions to follow the path of non-violence and truth. Now, let's move on to a more grimmer road. Adolf Hitler, a world influencer who single-handedly brought about the most end of the Jews. What was common in both of them? It wasn't their strength or wealth, ladies and gentlemen, it was their influence. And in today's day and age, social media is the biggest influencer. It's not just cat memes and selfies, it's a platform viewed by billions. And now, with over 71% of internet users on social media, the dangers of this great human concoction are clearly evident. Social media has all opened the portal to the minds of millions of impressionable children for all those wishing harm upon humanity. In the past 10 years, cases of online recruiting in organizations like ISIS and various cults has skyrocketed. Such organizations have charismatic personnel who let their viewers believe that they are the friend, offer them fake understanding and feed them half information with the motive of planting hatred into their mind. And cyber terrorism is also the bane of social media. With virtually all information present on these websites, the knowledge, communication and reach of terrorism is also infinite. So yes, I would like to argue that social media is the bane of humanity and the boon for its enemies. Thank you.